Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best OBS streaming settings for 2020 on the latest video, but in my free time, I'm looking for the best streaming settings as well. So getting good feedback on this video will definitely help them find it. Done. The first one is to go here and search for game mode. This tends to run better with this on, so just try it out for yourself. Put it on the screen right now. You should animations, how to set up a face cam. And from there, go to the video tab. So right away, we're going to have four things that we're able to like play around with. And the first one is going to be your base canvas resolution. Now, this is the resolution that your computer screen is. And if you don't know what that is already, like mine is 2560x1440. Um, all you have to do is just right click on anywhere on your desktop and then go to the display settings. From there, you're going to see a new window open up. Make sure that you're selected on the first one right here. Scroll down and you will see scale and layout. From there, you're going to see the display resolution. As you can see, mine is 2560x1440. For most of you guys, it's probably going to be 1920x1080, which is going to be uh, this one right here. So anyways, once you do have like what your display resolution is, you can close out of this and just set that as your base canvas resolution. So mine's already set to 2560x1440, but if yours is different, just click this little arrow right here, space everything um, or um, if it's between three at 60 and you should be good to go. Also make sure that your downscale filter is the same as the one that I have right here, the one that has 36 samples. All right, cool. So now that we've gotten those three out of the way, all we have left is our output scaled resolution above. Um, You should do like an average that last one, they want to watch your stream in um and if they don't have a good internet connection they're probably gonna lag while trying to watch your stream if it's in 1080p and i see this happen all the time with streamers who stream in 1080p but their viewers are watching from like their iphone or like their android phone or whatever like sometimes the internet connection is just not good enough to load a 1080p stream so it's not gonna be a good experience for the viewer and i'm gonna be completely honest it really doesn't matter where you stream a lot of people who have a good computer a good internet connection and all that stuff they still stream in 1280x720 Anyways, from there, just hit apply and then go to the output tab. If you want an easy setup right away, just change the output mode from advanced to simple and we can get started from the streaming settings right here. The first thing that you want to do is just match your video bitrate with what I have on the screen right now for your upload speed. Um, one personal tip that I do have for you guys is just never go above 6,000. Twitch itself doesn't even allow it, but I think YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer do. Uh, but again, like I said before, I really don't think it's necessary. Like I myself, I stream perfect 1080p streams at 4,500 bitrate, even though my upload speed is above 10. So just use that information and just do the best that you can with that, uh, like with your upload speed, your computer, and all that good stuff. Now, for your encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, always select the option that says NVENC. That's the 100% best option for you if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. But if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, or you just don't even see that option right there, just select Software X264 and you should be good to go. You can leave your audio bitrate at 160, but you do want to make sure that you enable advanced encoder settings right here. Now, if you selected this one for your encoder, then leaving your encoder preset on quality should be good for probably all of you. Change it to max quality if you have an RTX graphics card or like a 1080 Ti, or really just like one of the high end, like a use X264. All I recommend here for your encoder preset is just using either very fast or faster. And I recommend those two because the first two right here are gonna have a low quality stream and then the bottom like three right here, they're just gonna cause your PC to like slow down a bit and that's really not worth it. So for you, I'd either pick very fast or faster, but I do have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'll pick that, leave it at quality and then hit apply and I should be good to go. But I'm guessing the reason you guys even clicked on this video to begin with is because you guys wanted the advanced settings, like the best settings for OBS. Same thing, but if you only have X, click and fill out control, leave the plot. See that here, stuff like that. So it's pretty self-explanatory. 